our first max heap operation that we are going to talk about is going to be insertion. For our purposes, let's consider inserting the element 44. We already know that if we're going to expand the size of this tree, we must do it by adding a node there. There is no way around adding it as a child of 34 because it needs to be a nearly complete binary tree by an assumption we made about the way we are implementing this data structure. So for sure, if I'm adding a new node, you bet I've got to add it here. However, this now violates my max heap property that we talked about in our first video, which is that 44 is bigger than 34, but it's its child. So let's fix that. How can we fix that? Why not just swap it, put 34 down here, and 44 up there. Seems as good a choice as any. Did we break anything in the process? No, we don't need to ever concern ourselves about having made any errors in doing this. 34, by definition of the heap, was necessarily larger than 11, and therefore, after performing the swap, 44 is also going to be larger than 11 because we only performed the swap because 44 was larger than 34. This happens because of the transitivity of the greater than symbol, so this is another way we could word that same reasoning. Now, are we still violating our property? Yes, 44 is larger than 39, so I swap and put 39 there and 44 up there, or violating our heap property. Yes, we are, because 44 is greater than 42. So we perform another swap and put 44 up there. Or violating our heap property. Not anymore, because 44 is smaller than 48. So we have now completed our fixing of the heap in order to perform this insertion. So the insertion is done in two steps. First, tack it onto the end. Second, swap it up the heap until we encounter no more issues. So let's look at the code for doing that. Step one is insert the element. All of the code up here is for insertion. All of the code down here is for fixing. So the insertion is relatively simple. Increase the size, put the new thing at the end. How about the fixing? We're going to do that the exact way we said before. We have a special case of being at the root node. We no longer need to swap if we are at the root because there's nowhere to swap to. And we also need, we only need to fix so long as the parent is smaller than the child. This violates our heap property that we claimed we had. So we need to swap those two elements to fix that. And therefore the parent would be greater than the child after that. And we update our location to the parent. So we swap 34 and 44. And once we do that, we move up the tree. How long does this take? It looks like it might be complicated, right? Because we have that parent call there. But thankfully, parent is a very simple method. Parent was literally just I divided by two rounded down. And now let us analyze a worst case analysis of this. The worst case is that we run through this while loop all the way until we get to the root node. And I can analyze this while loop by saying what value does I start at with an iteration table. Doing this, the starting value of I, let's say it's n, the number of elements. You could also say m plus one if you wanted to be a little more precise, but eh, let's not do that. But then we have, after one iteration, we're going to divide it by two. After two iterations, we're going to divide that by two. After gamma iterations, we're going to have n over two to the gamma. When does this stop? Well, it would stop when n over two to the gamma is equal to the stopping condition of one, which is gamma equals log base two of n. And conveniently, we already know that that is the expression for the height of the tree. So the worst case is in theta of log of n, and it turns out that the expected case is as well. I won't do that derivation here, but I'll give you a justification at least, which is this code should look identical to sorted insert when we analyze that function. This is exactly the same as sorted insert, but all we are doing is performing in sorted insertion along this path. The number of nodes in that path is at most the height. We are performing a sorted insert into an array of size approximately log of n, and the expected case for sorted insert was proportional to the length of the array. So 
The expected case is also in theta of log of n, the number of elements we at most would need to swap with. If you want to perform that analysis on your own, you could try to write, replicate the analysis we did with sorted insert, but I'm not going to bother with that here.